occasionally, rarely, but it happens. But when they are getting it, I bet if you go through the record, I mean, 10, 20 at night, it's 75 degrees in Charleston. You step outside, it's like summertime. But you can see you go up to Detroit, it's 32 with the ice. These are very light, struggling with some dry air. But there's a little bit of activity on I-77, more back to the west. We'll see all this pushing through overnight tonight. This looks less than pre- rainfall amounts will probably be less than a quarter of an inch this time around. So just about to dip the roads up again, but most of this is going to vary in Iowa. This secondary one is going to kind of break apart and just kind of drag us from very warm because the main cold front not going to come through until tomorrow night and Friday morning. Here overnight tonight, 2, 3, 4 in the morning. 7 in the morning, though, I think they're still going to be kind of moved southwest to northeast. But it's out of here by mid-morning. Skies are clearing, 70, 40s. And so I see no reason why we won't hit the numbers we hit today. If not, maybe hit Charleston Huntington could easily hit about 80 degrees. Now, tomorrow night, clouds will gather again. A couple spotty wind shift. Temps will fall through the 40s at dawn Friday, though. And then stay in the quiet. Looks like 49 for the high Saturday. A weak system will start to our south. Just a couple of dry aside from the shower in the far southern part of the viewing area Sunday, and we'll start warming up again. Of the Communications Decency Act provides broad protections to tech platforms. It's recently come under scrutiny with lawmakers on both sides of the aisle calling for reform. The emphasize impact that Google and, and other platforms have had concerning uh, Republican viewpoints uh, is, is unconscionable. in a case related to the 2017 Islamic State attack on a Turkish nightclub where the parent company Google. Cleaning the platforms helped fuel the growth of the terrorist organization. Yesterday, the court heard Gonzalez versus Google. The case looks at whether Google 